Hello, I am Max from Test Red Blogs, and today we're going to be having a look at a very, very rare one of one Buick Rainier GNX. I've been trying to get a video of this thing since I first came here to Moto Exotica back in August of tw or October of 2014, and I'm glad that I finally now I'm able to make a video of it. The exterior is a gloss black with a two tone gray leather interior. On the door, you have uh, seat memory, heated seats here, door handle here with a lock, window controls, which the front two are fully automatic, and window locks in the front, mirror controls up here, and we'll go ahead and have a seat. As you can tell, custom gauges, just for the GNX. Now this concept car is kind of an interesting story because it actually came from GM. They had it stored away and uh, they had to sell a bunch of their assets whenever they went bankrupt to actually get money again. So a lot of their concept vehicles, as is like this one, went up for sale and uh, they're kind of just spread over the United States at the moment. So we'll go ahead and close the door. And we'll take the key which does have a fob and start it up as I said both front windows are fully automatic this one has 5900 miles on it and Let's go and fire it up. On the interior, you do have light controls over here, which are automatic, fog lights, and gauge dimmer down below. Windshield wipers and cruise control on the left stock, with uh, audio controls on the steering wheel, as well as an airbag and the horn. Gauges, as I mentioned, does have a uh, GNX logo on the tachometer, speedometer in the middle, and your various other gauges such as oil pressure, voltage, fuel gauge, and temperature on the far right. And as I mentioned, this is a concept car, so not everything uh, works as, as it would in a an average uh, Buick Rainier. Two vents up here. Do you have a radio that has a uh, display on it? You can tell different bands. You can just have your different uh, different presets. Plus, if you have a job home three fifty per week. It's pretty pretty loud, uh, pretty good quality, as well as navigation on here as well. What you need a desk for. Down below, do you have your comic control, which does have a screen in the middle. Different zones, off, temperature. It's a dual uh, dual zone. And down below, you have your rear windshield wiper speed on the far left, a lighter, and a power outlet on the far right. Do you have a cup holder to the left of the shifter? Transmission, I believe, is a four speed automatic transmission. Doors automatically lock whenever you put in the gear and unlock when you put in the park. Emergency brake over to the right. Another cup holder back behind. A little bit of storage in here, as well as CD storage. You do have an automatic dimming rear view mirror up above, which does have OnStar as well as a compass, garage link up above, sunglasses storage in here, mirror with vanity lights, lights up above as well as a handle. So, 
Go ahead and turn on the automatic headlights, fog lights, as well as the flashers. And we'll check out the outside. As I mentioned, this Rainier is a one-of-one one concept car. He's never actually made into production. It's basically a stock car, but you do have a blacked out grill. Fog lights down below. Those side marker lights. This was based on the Trailblazer as well as the Oldsmobile Verada. These are the wheels that came on it. Tires are 275, 45R20s. And this thing is also all wheel drive. Similar to a Trailblazer SS. Do you have turn signals in the mirrors? GNX supercharged. Do you have a roof rack up above? Fuel cap. exhaust Go ahead and pop the hood. The Rainier GNX concept featured a 600 horsepower or so 5.3 liter supercharged V8 that was derived from the Trailblazer SS, and not much else is really known about it. And we'll go ahead and shut it down. Check out the rest of the car. So we're gonna open the passenger side. box down below. Close the mirror and lights. And we'll check out the back seat. A little bit of space. I'm assuming this front seat is pretty far back. You do have radio controls down here as well as headphones. Fan speed for the uh, rear air and a power outlet. And up above you do have 
a Panasonic TV screen, which you can control from back here. It does have a DVD player. Pretty simple power, source, all of that. Menu controls. And we'll go up in the back. If you'd like to just open the glass, hit that button there, and the glass will open. But then if you want to open the whole entire back, just pull on the handle down here and pull up. Bit of space back here. Put some storage underneath. You can fold the rear seats forward to have more space. So I hope you all enjoyed this video of the 2004 Buick Rainier GNX concept. Be sure to check out Moto Exotica's info in the description below. And I'm out of here. See ya!